Let's jump to the war here, and today we're making a special video that is going to cover the different difficulties of Total War Warhammer 3, especially easy battle difficulty, because there is a wonky issue that's currently happening, that's been happening the whole time with easy battle difficulty, that is affecting a lot of players and causing a bit of, the, of a break in the gameplay loop that makes the game satisfying, and also causing a massive uh, self-esteem issue within Total War players. Now, I've been noticing this for a long time because I get disaster battle submissions. Now, if you're not familiar with this channel, what that is, is that people send me save files. My email is in the description. They send me a save file saying, here's a battle I can't win. Could you win it for me? Right? And people who play on easy battle difficulties most often put themselves down. They usually say things along the lines of, legend, I'm so bad at the game. I'm shit at the game. Could you please help me out in this situation? And the truth is, in these easy battle difficulty situations, they are so deceived by the game that I can't even win these battles, right? And I'll explain exactly what's going on. This video was um, inspired, I suppose, by this particular Reddit thread on our Total War Warhammer. I'll leave a link to this Reddit thread in the description if you want to go in and, and have a look and uh, see what people are saying. But this guy here sums up what's happening and what the issue is without understanding what it is, obviously. So, he starts a new campaign, admits that he's playing an easy battle difficulty, but it's obvious because this is only possible on easy battle difficulty. So, order resolves 95% of the battles because they're decisive victories with low casualties. Now, we've got to stop here and address a few things because immediately you'll get people saying, stop order resolving. Even low casualties can sometimes screw you over and then cause the order resolve after to result in losses. Okay. Here's the problem. This guy is not playing on easy battle difficulty. He doesn't realize what order resolve is, is doing to him there. And I'm not blaming this guy for it at all. Um, he just doesn't realize what's going on. Here's the thing. Even low casualties can sometimes screw over. On easy battle difficulty, the players, most players, in fact, just about everyone, will get a better result order resolving than they will manually, no matter how skilled you are. Because... When you're playing an easy battle difficulty, what it does, it does something really weird. It takes your forces and basically multiplies their strength by about three. So that means that your full stack, your full army, can take on about two and a half other armies and win in order resolve. But in that exact same battle, if you go and fight it manually, the easy battle difficulty bonuses that you got in order resolve disappear, right? And instead, if we come and have a look over here at the different difficulties, Right, let's just say you're playing on this one here. You're no longer getting the the 300% multiplier. Instead, when you fight a battle manually, you get this one here, which debuffs the enemy by 10%. So you go from getting a 300% boost to getting a 10% boost, right? And what ends up happening is that that battle that you're going up against two and a half armies, you fight it manually, and you get absolutely reamed. You, there's no hope. And so they load the save file, order resolve, right? Now, if you start a new campaign, you're playing on easy battle difficulty, you've, you've just you've just bought this game, you're playing your first campaign. The first battle comes up, it says decisive victory with low casualties. You fight the battle manually because you want to experience what this game has to offer. But, you know, you're not that experienced in the game, you don't really know how to micro very well, and that's fine. But most of the time, most of the starting battles are pretty easy, and if you just throw your forces at the enemy, you'll get an okay result. But the problem is, is that you will get a close victory, or a Pyrrhic victory, with medium or high casualties. And that's not what Order Resolve said you would get, and that's because it's deceived you in the balance of power. And then goes into manually resolve battle, and of course, it doesn't reflect what Order Resolve said. So, a little bit demoralizing. This is where the the um, the self-esteem starts to go down. You're winning the battle, but your self-esteem's going down. Oh, I'm, I'm shit at the game. I'm just really bad at the game, that kind of stuff. And so he goes into another battle, same sort of situation. Decisive victory and order resolve. Fights the battle manually, doesn't get a good result, right? And so then, this person is incentivized to order resolve the next fight. And to keep order resolving, because it keeps being decisive victories with low casualties. And they're not fighting any battles manually, because they're too afraid of fighting these man battles manually, because their self-esteem is so low. And then eventually what happens is that the AI eventually builds up. They Let's just say it's Vlad von Karstein. He builds up three full stacks and attacks your capital. Now, it's got Vlad von Karstein, Isabella von Karstein attached into it. He's got... He's got Blood Knights, he's got Var Guys, he's got Var Gulfs, he's got uh, uh, Graveguard, and a whole bunch of other trash. Three full stacks coming at your garrison there. You got a tier 3 Altdorf, and the order resolve says, Ooh, it's pretty close. 
Valiant Defeat, because it has multiplied your garrison strength by three. Now, there is no scenario where your garrison at Altdorf is ever going to kill three times as much as what it should on the battlefield, except in order resolve. So they go and find the battle manually, thinking that there may be some hope, and they get fucking reamed in the fight. It's not even close. Decisive victory, and they barely did a scratch on Vlad, and it makes them feel terrible. Oh my god, I'm so bad at the game. Starts a new campaign, only to start the same problem over and over again, not realizing that the game has been deceiving them the whole time, only for the game to continue deceiving them again the whole time. They never get better at it because they never fight the battles manually, because the battles manually just make them unhappy. They end up not enjoying the game, they uninstall the game, and go and install a Paradox game, or something like that, or Warhammer 2 or whatever. So this is the inherent problem. The first thing that we have to address here is that it's so important for new players to have fun. They've got to get that dopamine rush. The way to get that dopamine rush is for the game to say, okay, this is what the results are going to be. Then they go into the battle and they do equal or better to that. If they do that, it feels satisfying. Then they learn more. The more often they do that, they'll get better. If they're having fun, they'll eventually get better. And eventually they'll they'll move on from easy battle difficulty and then the problem won't be a, a problem anymore. And it is most likely people like this, who are saying this kind of stuff, never played Warhammer 3 on easy battle difficulty. And again, I'm not trying to have a go at this guy. Because this is what most people are saying, and that would have been my advice too if I wasn't aware of this situation. And on any other battle difficulty, this would be correct. But an easy battle difficulty is actually not the case. Now, there's just so much more of the same of this all the way down there, with people saying, stop order resolving, just fight the battles manually, bruh. Battles are fun. But people aren't having fun if they're getting bad results. That's the big thing here. We've got a difference between people who have maybe 100 to 1,000 hours in the game telling people who have 5 hours in the game how to have fun. And the problem here is that they're telling you they're not having fun. But we've got to address that they're actually what, they're, what the problem actually is. Now, this guy here is really um, suffering from this problem. If you go and read further down this thread, he'll say that he plays on hard campaign difficulty with easy battles. Okay? So, really, the, the key problem is being uh, experienced by this guy. And I've heard this being said so many times before. I'll just read it out. Where he says, It's so hard to force yourself to fight more battles when you're so shit at them. Self-esteem problem right here. It's not a skill issue. It's a self-esteem issue. There's so many people here saying skill issue. Self-esteem is the problem here. The guy has no confidence in battles because the order resolve has destroyed his confidence. Dude, I bet you you're nowhere near as bad as you think you are. The game is just fucking lying to you. That's all it is. And then more... Um, I've lost count of the amount of manual battles I've been completely annihilated in that the order resolve gave me a decisive victory result for. After a while it becomes demoralizing and you just order resolve everything in order to keep having fun. Because that is the most important thing here. Order resolve and easy battle difficulty is destroying his fun. He doesn't realize it because he's new to the game and thinks he should be playing on easy battle difficulty, right? And then there's just more advice here, like that's the reason why they separated campaign and battle difficulty. And nobody is addressing the main issue here, where easy battle difficulty has this wonky issue. And then there's more people that play on easy battle difficulty that say, yeah, this problem's happening to me. I'm so shit at the game. And I've had so many save files sent in with people saying, it's always on easy battle difficulty. I'm so shit at the game. They've always had their self-esteem absolutely destroyed. Okay, and it's all because of fucking easy battle difficulty. So what's the solution, and, and how is it actually applying on the campaign map, right? So what we've got here, we've got a turn four Reichland campaign. I picked Reichland because most people play Reichland, right? It's probably the most popular campaign, right? Um, also recognize that as of April 30, you won't be able to besiege Helmgard anymore because you'll start off with it. But for the point of explaining this video, it'll be valid well beyond. It's just this situation won't be able to be replicated exactly, that's all. So, what we've got here is a campaign on very hard campaign difficulty, very hard battle difficulty, maximum AI cheats. And we besiege the settlement here. And we've got roughly about the same amount of forces they've got. They've, they've got more units than us by a bit, but the quality is on our side is a little bit better. We're also assaulting a fortification. So, I would say that in terms of basic strategies or tactics versus basic tactics, most newer players would probably lose this battle. So this is an accurate representation of what would probably happen for, like, for the basics, right? Now, as somebody who is very experienced in the game, I can win this battle, and many of you guys who, have, who are watching 
can probably win this battle as well. But none of you are going to get a decisive victory on this. In fact, even a close victory with these odds here is very unlikely. You'd have to get very lucky and have to be very patient and try to snipe every individual one of their units at very low cost because you've got a limited amount of magic. I was pretty lucky in this campaign that I did get a, a, uh, a Celestial Wizard, which is a good option for this particular fight. Now, let's have a look at what the uh, different battle dif uh, different difficulties do. If we drop down the AI stat modifier, what does that do? Fight for our Absolutely nothing for auto resolve. It only comes into play when you actually fight the battle manually. So if I fight this battle manually now, this will be significantly easier. Whatever their stats are, it will be reduced by about 10%. So that would I would probably get about a close victory Man, there. Right? Now, if we drop the campaign difficulty down, still Valiant Defeat, because it doesn't have any bearing on the auto resolve. What the campaign difficulty does is decide the cheats that the AI get on an economic level. You know, how many recruit slots they get, how much free money they get, how aggressive they're going to be on the campaign map. Obviously, easier campaign difficulty. The AI is going to field smaller armies. They're going to take longer to recover. They're going to be less aggressive than you. On higher difficulties, they're going to recruit armies very quickly and be very aggressive against you. But it's not going to affect how you perform on the battlefield. Then we've got the different battle difficulties. So that was on very hard, the hardest battle difficulty. Now, I would say on very hard battle difficulty that the order resolve is actually reasonably fair. It doesn't... It, it, when Warhammer 3 first came out, very hard battle difficulty would just be like, you would always lose. It was super unfair, and it forced you to have to fight every single battle manually, which is literally the opposite effect of what we've got right now. Because everybody was fighting battles manually, and the, the, the order resolver would say, decisive defeat. You go into the battle, and you get a decisive victory, and you're like, oh, I'm so good at the game. It's, it was the opposite effect, right? But it caused campaign fatigue because you're fighting every goddamn manually resolve. On, on every minor settlement battle. There's no order resolving whatsoever. So you've got extremes of both ends. Luckily, they got rid of that one. So very hard battle difficulty, I think, is reasonably fair, maybe a little bit skewed towards the player. Then we've got hard battle difficulty. These two are sort of sticky together when you move the um, the difficulty, battle difficulty modifier, but you can always just unsticky it that way. I'm going to keep the AI stat modifier at maximum. If we have a look at this, it'll be pretty much identical. On hard battle difficulty and very hard battle difficulty, there's very little difference between the two in terms of order resolve. There's a bit of difference in terms of how the AI behaves on the battlefield, but in terms of order resolve, it's basically identical. Then if we go down to normal battle difficulty, this is where we start getting a bit of a force multiplier. And we can see here it's saying a Pyrrhic victory with high casualties. So, so a lot of damage there. So I would say that it's probably giving us a force multiplier of about 30 to 40%, so a bit of a boost but not ridiculous where somebody who's new to the game could get this result. You know, you might lose it a couple of times, keep l repeating the battle, and you'll eventually get a Pyrrhic victory with that kind of casualties there. Uh, this is not a ridiculous result out of an order result. Okay, and then we've got easy battle difficulty with maximum cheats on, right? Again, the maximum cheats doesn't make any difference. And then we've got close victory with low casualties. Low casualties, right? Basically no damage, well, very little damage done to our armies. Let me tell you, I fought this battle in this campaign so many times, and I don't think I've ever managed to achieve low casualties. Easy battle difficulty is so ridiculously skewed towards the player in order resolve that you... In most cases, especially in the early game, you cannot get those results. Now, you can probably get those results later on the campaign if you've got like a wizard with 100 wins of magic that has one wins of magic cost for around his Thunderbolt. Yeah, you could probably do that and get a decisive victory. But that's not the stage we're at the campaign. You know, Carl Franz is not the killing machine that he will eventually become. We've only got one piece of mortar. They've got towers. Uh, they've got a lot of archers there. We just don't have much to overcome that. There's no way you're going to get a close victory in order resolve in this situation, even on easy battle difficulty where the response time of these guys is a bit slower. Attack. And so there's the inherent problem. There, It's not incentivizing players to fight the battle manually in order to have fun. So what's the solution to this? All right, so if you're new to the game, here's the difficulty that I recommend that you play on, where it is easy to play the game, where you will learn how to play it, where it feels satisfying with the result that you will probably get on the battlefield. Okay, set your campaign difficulty to easy. Okay, the AI will still put up a reasonable amount of force every now and again. It won't be often, 
and it won't be at the beginning of the campaign. This will give you time to get set up. Just don't sit there hitting end turn, waiting for 100,000 gold to come in, and you should be fine, right? Set your battle difficulty to either normal difficulty, which that one I'm not really going to recommend that much because this one is still skewed a little bit to the player. You might struggle a little bit to achieve the results that is being shown. Put it on hard battle difficulty and put the AI stat modifier to, to easy. And what you want to do, like this is your first campaign, right? Set it to this. What this will do is when you go into an, a battle, the auto resolve will tell you it straight. It will say close victory, pyrrhic victory, and that'll be pretty accurate, right? Then you'll go in, fight the battle manually, and probably get an equal or better result than what the auto resolve said. It'll feel satisfying. It'll, in, it'll incentivize you to want to play more battles, which will make you learn how to play the game. As you get better at the game and you're thinking to yourself, oh yeah, I'm really starting to get the hang of it now, it's getting a bit easy, the first thing you want to adjust is the AI stat modifier. Get that to about normal, okay? Where there's no bonuses to either side. It'll be completely fair fight at that point. Then after you've done that, start moving the campaign difficulty up. So go to campaign normal difficulty, Hard difficulty, very hard. So that way the AI will be, it'll be fair on the battlefield on, a, on an equal basis. But what they'll start doing is they might bring one and a half armies to fight up against your armies. But you're now a seasoned grizzled veteran. You can handle it. And the AI is not cheating. And then once you can handle that easily and you're just, you're just beating the enemy back left, right and center, then you can think about putting the AI stat modifiers up to very hard. Give the AI a bit of an advantage because you understand how the game works now. You have well since overcome this little problem and you will probably find battles very satisfying because you know that the AI is throwing the best that they can at you and you just pummel it away because you've learned how to play the game. Learning how to play the game is just really a matter of experience, building up your instincts for it. The more battles that you fight, the more often that you do micro, the more mistakes that you make, the better that you will become. No amount of writing on Reddit is going to help you become better at the game. You just need to play the game in order to get better at it. And my advice, if you want to play the game, is you need to fight more battles manually. So unless you want to force yourself to fight battles manually, even on easy battle difficulty, at which point, if you're going to force yourself to play the battles manually, then you might as well put it on hard difficulty. Now, if you're then thinking, oh, but doesn't the battle difficulty change the way of the behavior on the battlefield? Let me tell you this. The descriptions that they put here is pretty pointless. The difference between easy battle difficulty intelligence and very hard battle difficulty intelligence is the difference between like 10 IQ and 0 IQ. The AI is brain dead and the most times that they're going to put up a fight is when they just zerg at you. They just rush at you. They're not good at using their magic. They're not good at using their missiles. Those are the armies that will be the easiest to deal with. All you have to do is rush at them because they'll most often blob up their stuff. The most difficult armies will always be the ones that are fully comprised of melee troops, which is why the vampire accounts are so difficult to deal with for new players and why why um, factions like the Beastmen and Festus are so difficult, which is annoying play, playing the starter campaign, which is Carl Franz. Those are the enemies that you go up against. It's actually quite funny because if you play as Festus and go up against the Empire, it's so easy because the AI is so bad at using missile units and those are their, their best troops because your Marauders will easily beat their Empire Spearmen or Empire Swordsmen. So the game sort of tricks you in multiple ways here and basically... <laughs> makes you have a not fun experience. So this is the difficulty here that I would recommend if you've never played the game or you're like got under 10 hours under your belt, play on this difficulty here. You'll be forced to fight a lot of battles manually. They'll feel satisfying. Every now and again, there'll be a battle that you can't win, but at least the auto resolve will say you don't stand a chance. You know, if you don't stand a chance in auto resolve and then you fight the battle manually and then you get absolutely reamed, you know, these things happen. Everybody loses battles, including me. It's just this is part of the game. But when the game says, oh, it's okay, bro, you got this, and then you don't got it, it causes self-esteem issues. And that's the main thing that I want to fix here. Anyway, so hopefully that has solved this issue for a lot of players, if you've watched it. Um, feel free to link this video to people that are on the Reddit that are expressing this concern to explain to them what the actual problem is and how to overcome it and how to, how to get better at the game. Um, if you found this video useful, don't forget to subscribe. You can also send me disaster battles if you don't want to fight the battle manually yourself and you just want a, a free pass on it. Feel free to send it to me, but you, uh, my email will be in the description. But you do have to keep in mind that I'm not a god at this game, as what some people might say. I'm not a god at this game. There is a limit to what I can overcome. 
if you've got your garrison at Altdorf going up against three full stacks of vampire accounts and it's on easy battle difficulty, I probably can't win it, okay? There's just, there's only so much you can do to overcome some of these situations. But I'll at least let you know what the problem is uh, when the time goes in. And one thing that I don't want to hear from you guys anymore is you guys saying, I'm so shit at this game. You're not shit at the game, the game's fucking lying to you, okay? Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.